Hello everybody and welcome back to Be Boss Kitchen and welcome to those of you who are new to my channel. I have achieved my 1,000 subscriber mark and I am so grateful to all of you who have supported me. I would like to ask that you would continue to support if you have not subscribed. How about clicking on the subscription button? Leave me a comment. Don't forget to click the notification bell and please give me a thumbs up. Um, I want to make for you, which I have done when I first started my YouTube channel, I made divinity and I made it on a day when it was pouring rain outside just to prove that you can make it when it's humid. But I'm going to make divinity this evening and I just thought I would do another video kind of update and show you how I, I make my divinity. And so I want to get started by showing you the list of ingredients that it takes to make this delicious candy. So let's get started. You will need granulated sugar, white corn syrup, egg whites, pecans, water, vanilla extract, salt, cold water for testing, a saucepan, candy thermometer, and wax paper. Okay, I'm going to double the recipe that I'll be posting. So I will start with my egg whites. I'm going to separate them. I've already I've separated one, but I thought I might better show how I separate my egg whites. I'm sure you know how to do this, but I'm going to separate my egg whites from the yolk, but I will be using four egg whites. You absolutely do not want any yolk in your uh, egg white because then your egg whites are not going to beat up to be stiff and you've got to have them really stiff. Okay, like I said, I'm doubling the recipe so I will put my sugar in and I will add my Cairo syrup. And like I have told you all before, I usually will put my water in this so that I can get all the Cairo syrup out. So I'm going to add my water to this cup and just kind of swish around, make sure you get all the Cairo. All right, I'm going to turn my heat up on high and get this cooking. Normally, when I'm doing divinity, I hardly ever use a candy thermometer. I do the cold water test, and I will show you tonight how I do that. But I do have the candy thermometer also. Now, while this is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and beat my egg whites until they are stiff. I will use my whisk beater. Okay, I'm going to go ahead at this point and add the salt to my egg whites. They're not stiffly beaten yet, but I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to finish beating my egg whites until they're stiff. Okay, they are stiffly beaten. You can see they've simply They don't move. So you got to make sure your egg whites are stiff like this. Do you see the sugar crystals? There are sugar crystals on the side of this pot. And so what I'm going to do is to put a lid. When this starts to boil, I'll put a lid on it for one minute to wash down those sugar crystals. My egg whites 
are at room temperature. Uh, I had a YouTuber asking me the other day. She had watched my other video and she said that hers had looked like condensed milk. I don't know what she did wrong. I almost think she didn't cook her syrup long enough. But she asked me if the egg whites should be room temperature. Uh, the recipe that I have is a very old recipe that was in a cookbook that belonged to my mother when she bought um, her sunbeam mixer when I was just a little girl. And it didn't say anything about the egg whites being at room temperature, but I always, anytime I'm baking or doing any type of desserts or candies and I'm using egg whites, I always have my eggs at room temperature unless it specifies that they should be cold. But anyway, I hope that this video will be more helpful. So as soon as this comes to a boil, I'll put a lid on it and we'll wash down the crystals and get our syrup cooked and get this candy made. I'll go ahead and take my whisk beater off and put my paddle on, paddle beater, because you're gonna, it's gonna get really stiff. You're gonna need a strong beater. So I'll go ahead and have this ready so that when my syrup gets ready and it's starting to come to a boil, I have it on high heat. I think I told you that already. Uh, it doesn't matter. You want it on high because you want to get this syrup cooked to the temperature that you're wanting it to be. Okay, I'm going to put a lid on this. And the steam will wash down the sides. I'm going to time it for one minute. Okay, that's been one minute. You can see now how it has washed down. Well, it's fogging up my camera, but it's washed down the sugar crystals. So now this is going to cook until it gets to 260 to 265 degrees. But I will do a water test. I take a cup of cold water. Um, it doesn't have to be ice cold, but just cold water. And when this gets ready, I will test it by dropping my syrup into this water. And it, when it forms a brittle thread, it's ready to pour over my egg whites. So I will get myself a spoon and I will test it when it's time. I will put the candy thermometer in it just to kind of judge it. But like I said, when I'm doing it normally, I never use a candy thermometer. I've made Divinity for so many years until I can honestly tell by the sound of the syrup when it starts getting ready. You can see it's getting ready to start trying to spin a thread, but it's not enough. It hasn't cooked enough. It'll have to cook to about 265 degrees. That's almost at 260 and it's not, it's not brittle enough. I can tell by my syrup the sound of it and the looks of it. It's real, real bubbly. It's getting close. starting to create the little thread spinning off from it. See that? So I'm going to test my syrup in some cold water.
it's not ready. It's soft. And you want it to be brittle. Okay. It has it has gotten there. I don't know how well you can see this. I hope that it's You can see it's it's brittle and that's the way you want your syrup to be. So now I'm going to take it off the heat and start pouring it over my egg whites. Very slowly. and add my vanilla flavoring. I'll turn this down just a little bit. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. And you want to beat this until it's not so glossy. But you have to be kind of careful with it because it'll set up really quick. I'm going to go ahead and spread out my wax paper. This is very, very hot. Sometimes when it doesn't want to set up, you can let it rest and then beat again and it'll start setting up. But I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my nuts to this. I didn't chop my nuts because I wanted to add it and it'll kind of beat it. Um, it'll chop them up as it beats into the candy. I like a lot of nuts in my divinity. Whew, that's so hot. I'm going to add some more nuts. Gonna let it cool down just a little bit. That is super, super hot. Okay, it's starting to set up, so I'm gonna beat it once again. Go ahead and get that off of my beater. Okay. It is ready to spoon up. Okay. Ooh, that is some kind of hot. This is perfect. You 
can see how it looks inside the bowl. A lot of people decorate their divinity with a, a half of a nut on top. But I don't do that with mine because I fill my divinity full of pecans to start with. I'll eat that piece. Mm. Good. Okay, it's the last piece. That is excellent. It turned out perfect. Now, like I said, some people will take like a half a nut and stick it on like so. But I do not normally do that because I put all my nuts inside. I like a lot of pecans in my divinity. But just to show you how it is done, if you want to garnish it with a nut. That's the way it's done. Not that that's a big deal. Anybody can figure out how to stick a pecan on a piece of divinity. But not everybody can make divinity. And it's such a simple, simple thing. The secret is getting your syrup cooked to the right temperature and it can vary I guess depending on the where you're located I don't know but it went to about 270 degrees so if you will do your water test when you're cooking your syrup and make sure that it is a very thin thread-like brittle string when it hits that water and it becomes brittle it's ready to pour into the egg whites so I hope that this will help you and I hope those of you who have tried this and have failed please give it another try cook your syrup longer if your candy didn't want to set up Cook it to 265 to 70 degrees, but do the water test. Just cold water, not ice water, just cold water. And um, I wish you a lot of luck. It is so easy. I have made it for years and years and years and never have any trouble with it. But anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you find it informative and helpful to you. And Christmas is just right around the corner, so whip you up a batch of divinity. Christmas is not the same without divinity on the table. The dessert table. Let me rephrase that. The dessert table. But anyhow, I hope that you all will have a, a good rest of the day or evening. And thank you again for supporting me. And this is Beba saying may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. Until we see each other again, you have a great day, and I'll see you really soon in another video. Bye. Oops, wait, 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 wait. I didn't do my taste test. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take a small piece because I have eaten pralines this afternoon. Uh, a couple of friends were here, and we had cookies and pralines and... Oh my goodness, but anyhow, here's to you, divinity. Mm. Oh, that's so good. My goodness. I cannot imagine anybody that does not love divinity. Mmm. And with it being so full of nuts, man, that is so good to me. My oldest sister that I lost um, a couple of years back, 
bless her heart, she loved divinity. I would always have to make her divinity. But anyway, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. And like I said, you take care and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.